What is up, Booby Goaders? The tines were on wrong, so we fixed the tiller. It's working great. I just did another line behind me, and I made it go to a deeper depth. And now I'm going to get over here on this side and do the same thing. I think it'd be better if I just went through it again and then mounted it up. Um, then I want to like run my push mower back here, knock all that down, and use the grass as mulch on top of this and just plant what I've got that's already popped up and needs to be in something safe and I'm also going to build a door for this because the zipper thing on the greenhouse kit itself is busted and it came that way I don't know how to fix it I'm no seamstress although I can sew things and I've tried before but not the best but um yeah we're gonna I'm gonna plant it put grass on top because it is very hot and open all the windows to the hoop house greenhouse thing and I think what I'm gonna put in here is like cucumbers and squashes zucchinis maybe yeah cucumbers zucchinis okra and some of these tomatoes that I have that need to go in the ground all right I am having trouble keeping the uh, big tiller straight it's probably just me. I can't ever do anything totally correct. It just has to be crooked and, and that's what I do, I guess. But um, I'm gonna go this way. I'm sure you don't wanna look at my butt. So uh, I'll record it coming back up. All right, booby gutters, I'm gonna do the last row and then we're gonna rake it into better mounds and go from there. know if you guys caught it but I like I, I hit a huge rock they're over here building rock castles helping me get the rocks out of the garden so it's a win for a mom I always stay hydrated when you're out there gardening I'm to establish where I put my rose uh oh I hope this isn't too boring we're already forecasting 80s and 90s and I'm just like oh yeah gotta wake up earlier and get outside before it gets hot what's happening because the cotter pin I just bought a new one and it was like five bucks it's a Sunday so the only place open was tractor supply that's where I got it from and it broke now to be fair the rock was huge so that's why it's not working Ugh, gotta find it so I at least have the little pieces. I found another cotter pin that I can use. I was afraid if I waited too long on the hoop, these guys would be in here. Yep. I think they knocked a few of my stuff down. Anyway, I'm filling up in between the rows some mulch that I'm just like harvesting from the garden. I don't want to walk all the way up to the house. I popped a couple little okra plants in here and um yeah they weren't they're not looking that great hence my urgency to put them in the ground now I am going to take some of the mulch from my other garden and dig it out and put it in that one because 
I did put it really thick in here. You can tell I put it thick like there and over here. It's a lot of green. I gotta fix that. But uh, so far I get, I'm getting, you know, it's about the energy. As for suppressing the grass and stuff, mulch for the wind. kind of died there. I think the guys that cut the trees lost a piece of metal. Glad I found it. That would have been super dangerous. Since everybody's up to date on their tetanus shot. That's full enough. It'll work. Because Mother Nature likes to be covered. hydration break I'm gonna go get a fizzy water drink it and looking at this where I mulched it looks okay then we're gonna plant some okra that should be fun sparkling water is my fave <sighs> funny all right booby gooders really need to put these in the ground so that's what we're going to do I know what you're thinking, what are you going to do to keep the chickens out of this? Well, there's a cover on it for this, but I'm not putting the cover on right now. I'm going to put on after we plant these because it's hot. Oh, girl. <laughs> I mean, out in my other garden, last year I planted the seeds of okra and they only got like this high. So I know that we put fertilizer in here, we killed it. Maybe, maybe, just maybe we'll get some good stuff. <laughs> um, I honestly don't know how far apart you plant okra or their buddies and they like to stay together. No clue. I'm going to give them about five to six inches. So about five to six inches apart. Look at them. Put me in the ground. Let me live. You know, it's funny with all these okras that I planted. I don't think my kids like okra. I like okra, but I'm carnivore. I'm sure I'll just ferment this. Like pickled okra yeah I like okra okay so there's a rooster behind me he's usually nice but because I'm act like I'm down on the ground I might have to scooch him away hey buddy just watching out for chickens I did put the malts down I was like you know better you know better put it down thicker so I did Chickens are very interested in anything that you do. This guy it doesn't look too hot, but I'll put him in the ground. Who knows? Maybe you'll bounce. Got a lot of that um, fish stuff, fish fertilizer stuff that I could put in. Help these guys out a little bit too. Make sure they do all right. I don't know why there's so many rocks. I wonder if it like overflows. When it overflows, it comes this way and floods this. That would make more sense and it would it would be the reason why there's so many rocks over on this side. And we also have some tomatoes. I didn't research if okra and tomatoes are okay together, so I'm just gonna plant them anyway. 
because after I put these plants in, I need to put the top on or the chickens are going to come in here and scratch all this up. We know chickens. Chick chicken owners know chickens, don't we? We know. We know they're going to come in here and ruin it. They always do. They're like, we don't have TV. You're the most interesting thing to watch right now. Do you think that's an arrowhead or is that like a rock I cut? It, it's interesting enough to pass as one, but not a fish. Those are found here. I was with the funniest thing. My naked neck rooster like jumps up while I'm feeding them. And he fell into the bucket of water. And he's like, whamp, whamp. And I'm like, hold on, dude, I gotta pick you up. And he is freaking out. Like, come on, man. We have to be pals. Rocks, too many rocks here. I'm sure the okra will love it. And I'm almost done planting okra. I've got one and a weird itty bitty one. So I'm gonna give them both a little space. That was my idea. Like, invest in these to take care of them. Wouldn't that be cool if they made them in silicone? Anybody? Make these in silicone, please. I would love it. And if you know of a place that makes these in silicone, let me know. And it would be totally awesome if they fit these. Think about it. Great idea. All right, now I'm going to come in with the little bit of tomatoes that I have. And I'm going to put them in here. Throw the cover over. I have more tomatoes. I planted a bunch up front in my upfront garden because I figured it would actually produce more and be very safe. Chickens are all down here. Come on, dude. If you want to talk about pitiful things, I guess I'll grow them over here. I kind of ran out, I ran out of room with a little okra. This thing I like. Oh, there's slugs. There's slugs at the bottom of this. Okay. Well, it looks like I don't have a lot of tomatoes here. That's okay. They probably really, really, really... Ew, slugs! Oh my gosh, you guys. There's a slug. Like, I just touched one. Ew. Well, don't go in my garden. Get out of here. This is terrible. This is me. This is how I garden. This is how a carnivore... Like, a really bad gardener carnivore garden. I don't even know. I should actually label this how a carnivore garden. They're dead. That's gentle bowl. I've never actually trenched tomatoes. I'm gonna do that now. Because the soil's so soft from what in that we just killed it. No, wouldn't that be a great idea though? These in silicone? I think that'd be awesome. He died. This one is not dead. But will be. Tomato time. And I'm gonna sprinkle basil on top. Sounds smart. Can you not be here right now? You're kind of freaking me out. You know? Alright, booby gutters. Now I gotta put this on. And I got Raquel over here. She's pretty much perturbed and wants mommy to take her home. I just moved that tarp. And there are a bunch of little tiny uh, ring neck snakes. They like, they're good, they're not dangerous. They like to uh, eat little bugs. So I was like, uh-oh, I'm gonna move the baby. like I'm gonna do all this and it won't fit. It kind of fits. It's a little saggy. All right, baby. Yep. I can pull a lot more on the side and there are a bunch of bugs. Saggy. You wanna give up? this down with logs 
and then I need another pole long enough and this should do. It feels way cooler out here. Gotta put heavy stuff on the outside. Let's tour my trampoline greenhouse, hoop house. Come on, Rocky. All right, so my fix for the top, I bet the whole time everybody's like shaking their heads. What are you gonna do? I don't know. But uh, this will work to keep the water from cooling. Boom. <laughs> Simple. Um, it's a bit saggy, but that's okay. I need to pull it this way more and put um, heavy things on it, like sticks and stuff. Oh, baby, don't step on my plants. I just planted those. Come here, Lou, you little goose. Walk on this. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, come back here. But, uh, so far it smells like a wet tent and it's just as hot. Pretty good. Have a great day, booby goaters. I'm glad we got to do something today. I'm glad you came.